In this video, we do a quick drive through Outback Queensland. We stop in at Roma, Mitchell and Charleville. Check it out. The big watermelon. How have I not heard about the big watermelon before? We are walking over to Sculpture Outback in Roma. How cool are these two? Bruce the cow from Mitchell. Or the bull. This one. The elders are watching. This one's cool. A little black bull. Look at this guy's expression. So cool. There's one more in it, eh? Family tree. That one's really cool. Ah, wounded heroes. Australian baby magpie. You guys stand back there for me. Okay. Big rig Roma. Checking out a few different things. It's a tabletop wagon. The town flood boat. Slab Hut Museum. Well, hello. Hello. The big rig. The driller. Look at these bottle trees on the side of the road. Go and see the biggest. And apparently, according to Roxanne, after World War One, they planted them all down the main drag to honour the local fallen soldiers. This is Roma's largest bottle tree. Unfortunately for us, it's got some ugly construction around it, but the construction will protect it, which is great. Get past Rana. Look at it. It's a beast. So quick run around. Look at the size of that bottle tree. Roma's largest bottle tree. This was transplanted to its current location from a local property in 1927. The tree was mature when it's transplanted and now is over 100 years of age. It required six average sized men to reach around its girth. Although it has reached full maturity, the trunk does still grow at a, the rate of approximately one centimetre a year. So its current girth is 9.52 metres. All right, let's learn about scar trees. Scar trees, carved trees that have been scarred by Aboriginal people for various uses, such as cutting out bark for a canoe to spiritual purposes. The bark was removed from the trees to make shelters, cool them on shields, food and water containers, baby carriers, string and many other items of use. Australian native eucalyptus species, such as red gum and box, were commonly used. The scars remain in the trees often over 200 years. Scar trees are of great significance of the Gungari people of the area due to their strong spiritual and cultural connection to their lands. So, Tully, come on over here, you'll see an example of a scar tree. See where they've cut the big chunk of bark off it. The Aboriginal scar tree. Here we see the wild rana in her natural habitat. Around a fire. I am surprised at that, that she doesn't have a glass of wine. It'll and next we see the wild Benjamin in his wild habitat by the car. They are both very interesting specimens, but are very dangerous to humankind. 
<laughs> uh, okay, Mitchell Artesian Spa. Oh, he's getting in the cold one first. Cold pool, warm pool. Let's see what we're in for. <laughs> ah, Artesian Spa. In Mitchell, how nice. <laughs> Fingers hit it at about 34 degrees in the water. Well, there's a sign somewhere. Yeah, it's on the other side. We're still here because I love it. All right, into the cold water now. You know, Mum. That's my new one. All right, we're jumping in the cold one. This cold one is 18 degrees. The warm one is 37 degrees. <laughs> this is a mustard. Yeah, this is good. This is worth every penny. The first, the first of many, I'm sure. No, I'm <laughs> sure. Close. Ah. For a toilet stop at Morven. How cute is this? I love these dogs. Another dog at the back rounding it up. Water tank at the back. So cool. We have set up our camp. We're walking to the rock pool. We just finished the Royal Flying Doctors Service Centre and uh, the guys have just gone back in to give a little bit of a donation in the donation box. Uh, next stop. Next stop, the WW2 base. Secret base. Oh, secret base. Let's see if we can find it. Hey, in the next video, 
we visit uh, Tambo Chicken Races, we go to the Black Stump, the Tree of Knowledge and the Qantas Museum. Please check it out. Uh, if you could, we'd love it if you subscribed and told your friends. Follow us on Instagram and all the socials. Uh, thanks so much for watching. We're really grateful.